Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. You're watching all the beer no idea, I'm Baz. Uh, so Bazza is back with another one, and he's got a three-way collaboration beer now, and it's a triple New England IPA. Uh, and this is a can of Atlas. There we go, triple New England IPA, like I said. Coming in at 9.3% in a 440 ml can. And this is, like I say, a collaboration beer. It's brewed by Seven Island Brewing out of Greece. Thin Man Brewery and Sloop Brewing Co. Lovely artwork. It's been given that sort of superhero look about it. Uh, on the side here it says Triple New England IPA with Citra, Nectaron, Strata and Ruaca hops. Uh, I did have a quick nosy just online because I, I couldn't read the bloody breweries on there. I had to look online to see what all the breweries were. I couldn't see the last one. And I happened to click on one website and it was saying on theirs that this should be £7.30. Now this was part of the, the, the cock up if you like from beer merchants. I ordered two mystery glass packs for 12 quid, paid 4 95 postage. And what they actually sent was two 24 mystery pack beers for the same price. So bear in mind what I just said, £7.30 on one website this should have been. Uh, working out all the postage and everything and dividing it amongst all the beers that I got, this come in at a whopping 35 pence. So whether it's awful or not, it doesn't matter. So I've got my glass at the ready, triple New England IPA. I've uh, Seven Island Brewing uh, done one of the beers I've done the other day, but I've had nothing from Thin Man Brewery or Sloop Brewing Co. It's also a new style for me, Triple New England IPA. So let's stop waffling on, as I do, and crack it open, get it into a glass, and see what we get. I don't mind a New England IPA. I'm expecting it to be a big, big old juice bomb. Incidentally, uh, the beers that I did get, the 48 beers, were, they're sort of short date, or just past their best, or, you know, or very close to. So I'm, I couldn't exactly read what the date was on this one. Well, let me try and have a look. 25th of the 8th, 2022. So literally a month out of date this. Maybe not ideal because they say hops lose their freshness, lose all the flavor, but we'll go with it. Month past it's best, like I said. Uh, just got out the fridge as well. So beer in a glass looks just like a New England IPA. I don't know if it looks like a triple New England IPA. I'm just going to have to assume it does. Uh, lovely sort of chicken stock sort of colour. We got just half a finger of white head on top. I'm not. I, I think there was a little bit of gentle carbonation going up, but I can't see too much. The light's terrible. So let's stop chatting rubbish. Dive in on the nose and see what we get. Mm, smells nice. Juicy, orange, citrus, piney, a little bit hoppy. You do, do, you do get the hops, but they're not punching out of me like uh, sometimes when I have some other beers. Like, but the, the aroma is there. Big juice bomb. A little nice little piney sort of whack in there and a little bit of hop. Smells good though. So, without further ado, let's dive in on this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Quickly going again. Right. 9.3%. It's a good body. Don't get me wrong. I was maybe... Expecting it to be a little bit more dense though, but it's a perfectly respectable body. I'm not going to say full on smoothie like, but it is, it is dense. Hmm. Carbonation's lovely, almost non-existent, but there's just this gentle fizz that goes through your mouth. Uh, lovely and smooth, lovely and lovely and soft, and lovely and lovely and soft. What the fuck is lovely and lovely and soft? Lovely and smooth, lovely and soft. 
Just crack on with everything else, shall we? Talking some rubbish here, Baz. Fair dues. Taste-wise, that intake of the mouthful, you do get the juiciness. For me, the hop taste is sort of there, not before the juiciness. I think the hop taste registers in your in your mouth, in your head first. That juiciness comes through. You're getting orange, you're getting mango, you're getting pineapple. A peachy kind of taste to it, like a really light sort of fruity taste. It's a big fruit bomb. Behind that for me, the pininess comes in, that little bit of resinous pine comes through. A very, very gentle bitterness, which is exactly what you expect from a New England IPA. You want it to be a big juice bomb with just a subtle bitterness for me. 9.3%. Uh, it's a dangerous little beer, I tell you. You wouldn't guess that was 9.3%. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger. But to sit here and say, hang on, I'm drinking a 9.3% beer. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It really is. Uh, it's a lovely drop. It's a lovely drop. Really drinkable. Maybe, you know, the wrong time of year to be drinking this. But like I said, I got that box of beers. It's no surprise that they're just past their best or coming up to. So I've just uh, what I'm trying to do is go through them in sort of order of update to try and get get the beer as fresh as possible as I can really. Uh, but yeah, I'll tell you what, it's still a quality drop. Uh, and as I said at the start of the video, saw it on a website, they were pricing it at seven pound thirty. Is it worth that? I mean, is any beer worth really £7.30? I don't know. I don't know. But it is a damn good quality beer. Uh, you know, and it... I mean, for me, it's a steal at 35 pence. Probably £7.30. It, it, it is a little bit over the top, I would say. Maybe. But what you can't do is not the quality of the beer. So, uh Seven Island Brewing, Thin Man Brewing, and Sloop Brewing Co.'s Atlas Triple New England IPA is, is a banger for me. I'd drink that again. Quite happy to pay 35 pence for that. I've had a steal. Uh, so yeah, if you see it and you like the New England IPAs, give it a go because that is banging. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and share the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm only about 15 away, I think, from 2,200. So, you know, if you are thinking of subbing, feel free to do it. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it. So uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.